are coming. I ought to come. The Gurkhas have a fierce and reputation as fighters, but there are surely none scarier than Joanna Lumley in full battle cry. Having campaigned and helped win the right for Gurkhas to settle in Britain, she was outraged at what she said was a government campaign to discredit her. It has been suggested that I somehow was parachuted in, took the headlines and ran. I feel that's a smear. It has been suggested that I somehow spread falsehoods amongst the Gurkha communities both here and in Nepal about what they could expect. That's a lie and therefore a smear. And the people who made these accusations must know them to be untrue. And this is the man she blames for the slur, the UK Veterans Minister, Kevin Jones, who told a committee she was missing in action when it came to warning Gurkhas about potential immigration scams. A deathly silence, frankly, irritates me. Now the strategic retreat. And I apologise to uh, John Lumley for any offence that's been caused. Uh, she's a great champion for the Gurkhas. And what I want to do is to ensure that uh, Gurkhas use the settlement uh, system we've set up in place and also speak out strongly against people who are fleecing Gurkhas, both in, uh, in Nepal. And Joanna Lumley also got a phone call from Gordon Brown. He was sorry too. Sorry, no doubt, that just before an election, the popular Ms Lumley was on the warpath. Already 4,000 of the former soldiers have been issued with visas to live in the UK. Some of them were watching as Joanna Lumley overran the government's defences yet again. I'm totally supporting uh, Joanna Lumley and his team. This is the best thing ever could happen for the Gurkhas. Joanna Lumley says press reports Gurkhas were arriving penniless and homeless were grossly exaggerated, and she's hoping this time victory is finally won. Philip Williams, ABC News, London.